Hello. It's been quite a while, but I'm back, I guess, with another unboxing video. Just got back from New York about about almost an hour ago now. Today I'm going to be unboxing this Pokemotion Models Exclusive Edition. The low gauge 176 scale dappled shrewdly 106 terrier. Let's get into this. It just slides off like so from the covering. It's an exclusive edition certificate. Blah 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 blah. blah. Um, probably just a history booklet on, you know, just stuff there if you want to get a wee quick screenshot of that. There you go. Owner's manual. Authentic scale model. This one just go off to the side, and here it is. Oh, shit. There we go. What's this? It's got a bit of heft here. Oh, well, then. Oh, oh shit. Oh, be careful there. Oh, well, then. How it's all ever go with the model. Got lots of detail I'm seeing. Lots of separately applied bits. Oh, nice, even the thing there, the door dart, is separately detached. But that's loose. Don't want to touch that. Turn the model around. More. Oh, no, that's loose as well. Better not touch that. Box Hill, back in the cab, lovely cab details, nothing in the gold bunk, empty two, focus, come on. No focusing. Oh wait. London, Brighton and South Coast Railway, 82, Box Hill. <laughs> yep, there's quite a lot going on with this model. Lots of separately fitted bits. Wait. Are those rods actually? Oh, they're properly separately fitted. Like one rod going that way, another one going this way. Both linked together. It's right there. So it's this bit right here, which, yeah, it's quite loose. So I'm going to want to be careful with that bit. Let's 
seems to be a copper funnel. Find the paper couplers. Um, windows. Oh, yeah, that's that. That is some. This is amazing detail. And this thing has a brake pump. Move to the underside, shall we? Just move that off the way. Oh, a bit shaky. Move on. Oh, don't want to break anything. Oh, nice. They've even painted the sanders as well. There. Don't know what these are for. These would be for your brakes. I'm guessing. Some neat looking steps. I'm guessing this would be for a decoder if you were to remove them. Yep. Move to the upper side of the engine. Of it. Cute little engine. Put that there for a minute. Move everything out the way. So there is a top box up. And then just here. Ugh, is my tornado. Give a quick overrun of everything, I guess. So yeah, as it shows here, almost the same type of couplers. Configure. Yes, they can connect. Oh shoot! Don't want to break that. One hundred and ten pound. Do be aware. For a local about. Just that small, I guess. Yep, these two link together. Not sure that's tightly connected. Yeah, that's... It's coupled. Let's put a quick look at Tornado's valve gear. Excellent. Very excellent. And the tornado has a wee friend on it. And yes, it is double gauge, so. Piece of track. Put box L on it. It's there. Does fit. Now I just need to try and see if I can run it one day. But don't like doing the don't do that way. You'll just break it. Or you will you're going to probably wear down those. Yeah, you'll wear down the tires if you do that. As of someone who's done it before with their old model engines. These are... This is probably not going to run. It's been sitting in... The wheels have been like this for over two years-ish. I got this in 2020. It's 
got this thing the other day on Tuesday when I went to the National Railway Museum. I do recommend it, it's really lovely. Mallard, Evening Star, all that. Right, now let's put it on display. Put this piece of trap back in, back in where it goes. Tenders on. Sort that. Of yep, I'll do. My little box hill. Scotsman there. Alright then, well, that's it for today's review. If I get any more in the future, I will do the same with this as I've done. So, thank you for watching, and, and yeah, goodbye. Beers.